Man, I, I had to deliver a martini, or a specific type of martini, version martini, and four in the morning, and I was at home. I had to drive all the way there, because I'm just her producer. That's it. So <laughs> funny. Anyway, though. Okay. Third project is my game that I made. Yeah. Uh, send Hitler to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, it's like you can you can download it from the from the, from the store. It's, uh, okay. send, if, if now they changed it after I left. They changed it. It's send them to hell now. They added Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un and shit. Oh, yeah, and that's the lawsuit that I told you. That's the third one. <laughs> but sending Hitler to hell is better than like, sending uh, yeah, I, send someone. That's why when I was in the company, I, I I took care of that direction. I knew the things that the amount of uh, freedom that i get right so i said hitler, hitler everybody hates him right but you put kim jong-un and, and, and donald trump immediately got hit home like lawsuits like directly but uh you know hitler killed a lot of jews right probably yeah. millions of them there yeah do any of them land in hell or they all go to heaven i don't think there is heaven or hell <laughs> so i'm not really sure <laughs> no because if a lot of the Jews land in hell. Yeah. Hitler is going to be having a hard time in hell. <laughs> I know, right? You really hate it. <laughs> like, oh, that is not good. <laughs> Maybe you got office there, right hand man of Hitler. Ah, you got a yeah. special privilege for Hitler. Special privilege. Whether the Jews even go there. Now you can murder them again and again. Yeah, man. In the future, maybe we can expand to games and shit, man. Like, it's really fun making games, man. It's really, really fun. Actually, I actually want. Yeah, it's, it's amazingly fun. I came into IT because I can't let the games there. Yeah? yeah? And then I realized... Just start with small beginnings, like small mobile games, you know? Something we can finish in like two, three months, you know? Nothing too big. And then, like, you know, expand to something big. Okay. Uh, when you are talking about the uh, apps and the uh, websites, yeah. uh, you got to... I've, I've created on the, web, on the mind map <coughs> what you want on the menu. So you just list down what you want on the menu and what you want on the submenu. Just put them down with your function and all that. So we try to uh, finalize those. So think of all the features now, right? Yeah. So just now, yeah, we have to do the mind map now. Better not be, so we say now what we Yeah, add it. Just yeah. Everything we do from now on, just document it now. We, then, we can't just like then. talk, it just goes over. Anything to do with the mind the app itself, right? Let's put it straight on the mind map. I think, I think yeah. the purpose of the meeting yeah. today is just to meet the whole team yeah. and just yeah. establish uh, yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 Yesterday we just met like the three of us, so yeah. it wasn't. No, let's go beyond that. Let's, let's uh, establishing ourselves is just about five minutes speaking. Yeah. So let's now do a bit of brainstorming because we don't have a lot of time before Monday. Oh. And then uh, capture all those ideas. Okay. And then go back. We have already defined everybody's area. Yeah. So let's go back and everybody fill out the mind map. Okay. You can fill out the mind map simultaneously at the same time. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Some of the features I was thinking, like, uh, I, what should we get this now? I want one picture where, because a lot of these young people, especially girls, they don't know what they want to eat. Or like, they feel like, oh, I'm hungry, but I don't know what to eat, I want to eat this, How do you know that especially girls don't know how, what they want to eat? You do a bucket study there. Yeah, from the people I've met so far, from him, from them, like, from, like usually like students, uh, they don't know what they want. Then we, so we, we, I know what you're going to say, recommend it. Yeah. So, so girls don't know what they want or girls don't know what they want to eat? They don't know what they want. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that apply to their boyfriends as well? Boyfriends are sometimes. Now we have to add an algorithm. Yeah. We have to add an algorithm in the app itself that analyzes your choices in the food right. and then recommends something similar. So like let's say uh, I like uh, fried food. So only fried pictures, fried foods would appear for you. So for him, he likes soupy stuff. So soup food would appear for him. And as, as as they order more and more, the uh, search gets more and more refined. Yeah. We need to add the feature yeah. and then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to record all this, then I'm going to put them on YouTube, and then you can go back and analyse, and then you can fill up your mind maps. Huh? I don't the idea just uh, uh, disappear. Huh? Well, all these little features that is will improve the usability so much more. Yeah. So you take Food Panda right now, it's just often It's like stupid as hell, man. Yeah, it's stupid. Panda is stupid. I can't believe, like... How did they get this far with a stupid app like this? Exactly. It's like literally right now, not working. Man. You open the app, you choose, you go to the menu, I have a list of restaurants, I say Tarbush, Makbul, Nandos, you choose one, and then from inside of that, you've got different, different promotions. Very confusing because each restaurant got a different way of cooking. Yep. So we have to make one. And the pictures are not there sometimes. Okay, yeah, what sometimes you are saying, let's be shopper centric. 
Shop yeah, very. Th th think about it like Zalora, or you know, like the, something clean. You know exactly what you're getting. You know exactly what. Like very clean user experience. No mumbles there. No weird. No nonsense. No, 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 the customer should go to the website. Like you were the dumb, the dumb idiot to go in there. Oh, okay, enter to all these and all that. Yeah, you have to, you have to go in there. That's a good point. That's a very good point. I don't see the importance of a website, man. No, it is, man, because not everybody has. Smartphones, especially these guys, uh, let's say the uh, roadside sellers, uh, uh -huh. they have at most maybe like a small 3G1 or something like that. You know? So that, that's, the, that's the thing. Like these guys will not order even from the website. If you don't have a smartphone, you don't, you're not really savvy with the online presence. That's why you gotta have a website. Man. Because everyone, like most people, have, like who order stuff, okay, has some kind of electronic device at home. Most probably a computer. Or maybe a cheap, cheap computer. That's why you need a website. Like. Anybody in the world can accept the website. And then we have apps to make people's life easier. Mm -hmm. like people like me and you, and we are, we are lazy people. We don't want to go to the website and uh, press the things. We just want to open the app and use But for some people, they prefer the website. After you, man. I mean, like, if you see it, you see it. I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, I'm pretty sure most of the things are going to be used with the app. Yeah. The website's going to be like maybe 20% of the traffic or something. Yeah. Uh, another idea uh, rewarding point system. Now, because people love free shit. Like, especially in Malaysia, you guys know that. Like, just put something free, like we will go crazy. So every time you order, maybe I'm just saying it. Every time you order, you get like one point free, and then when you have like twenty points, like you can redeem one dish for free. And then we have to add uh, from that referral bonuses. So let's say I call another customer in, and then he made his first order. So this guy will get a free meal. Like Dropbox yeah. system, like, Dropbox, like, like where you like exactly like Uber, you know? Yeah, yeah, like Uber as well. So yeah. these promotional gifts. We fall under marketing, so you can hear the. Yeah, yeah. So we have to add these features inside the system. Right? So, like earlier, I was saying, uh, users can level up, can get points, can do this. Level up, man. It's not a, a, a core of the business, okay. it's just like a side part. So, people who who wants more than just ordering food, yeah. they have this stuff. What did you get for leveling up? Okay, like you said, it's not a free point stuff system. At all. Point system. So maybe you try a lot of different food for different places. You uh, then you're eligible to get points. Yeah, eligible yeah. to get points. Not everybody is eligible to get points. Yeah, we we we, we cut right. contracts. Right. We're gonna have contracts with the cooks. So like hey, uh, we, uh, obviously we have to come up with a business plan for that, right? Yeah. So like hey, if you cook this dish for us, um, I mean like when you cook for us, do you wanna be part of the point system or not? Point system it means once in a while like we will cut this amount of money like every time you order to the point system, like you know like. Maybe two percent or three percent of the total over, the overall of the order will go to the point system. So we're not losing anything. For, we're not really giving people like um, something for free. Like is literally, this, it's already cut from. Is this the, like another marketing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. It's not really much work on our end. It's still auto run on its own. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the point system idea. is tricky, man. The point system and the recommend, the, the recommended thing. Because I see even people like Sony, uh, for example, Sony, like they have. Uh, Recommended system in, in the store, the PlayStation store. So when I when I when I go to my recommended system, it doesn't make sense at all. I have like games I don't like at all. This. So the algorithm there, the code is the shit. You know? So we have to have like a really proper code that actually analyzes what people are taking. Like like you know like every time you, like they order, they, you add the probability of them ordering that to twenty percent. So they like that. It has to be like a smart system. It's I'm, hard. I'm so. a person it's not that easy. Because uh, remember I was telling as one guy can do neural net and all. Yeah, she will be fantastic in this when, uh, when it comes to all the extra features. Uh, you say it's the one guy, then now you mention it's the she. Yeah, yeah, it's a girl, sorry. <laughs> it's a girl, yeah. Her name is Isa. We, we know it, we know it, neural net from this car. Algorithm is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Neural net is too overboard. Yeah. Too overboard uh, and the, the more, less plugins, less crowd. But if you have a good neural net that can do a good analysis, somebody just might want to buy the company for the neural net. Yeah. 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 Not but I think, I think for now, we stick to algorithm. Like, for yeah. now, in the future, we change to the algorithm. For now, we make it simple. You go in, you order, you get the good. Point systems and all, we add in. Slowly. Yeah, add in slowly. Then. But I think linking to the plugins for Facebook, Google, Pinterest, has to be Instagram from the get go. From like, the get -go. Uh, one thing I know so far, Facebook is a bitch to add, man. Yeah. Like, so when we start doing anything, we have to apply them because like, no, no, no. they're, they're, they're kind of shit, man. You don't have to do that. Because like, I, I do websites and yeah. all that. It's very easy, it's just a plugin. No, for websites, it's fine, but for apps, it's, it's a pain in the ass, man. I've done, I've done it before, like, I didn't do it my own hands, but like, I faced this problem before. We thought it's easy. So we waited until everything is done, and then we like, approach Facebook. It took two months, man. And they give you this code that doesn't run with your program, and you cannot, you're not allowed to change it. 
it's encrypted. So uh, even if you manage to change it, that's against the law. They can sue you, right? So you have to keep changing, sending them back and tell them what's what's the, from your log, from your programming log, what uh, troubleshooting, what's the problems exactly, which which uh, which line of code did it clash with your thing, and then they will fix it and send it to you back and forth. So I'm saying like even before halfway through the through the we call it. Um, we approach Facebook community. Yeah. We do this from stage two. Yeah. Once we get the funding, why again? Right now we just build something yeah. to show for investors. Yeah. Then stage two begins when the funding comes in, and then we can start uh, focusing on all this. So you're showing the investor a prototype. Yeah. Prototype. Uh, it's not a working prototype or a uh, image prototype. I think you can do two stages. Huh? A non-working prototype and then a working prototype. Yeah. 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 That actually sounds better. Yeah. So we approach investors with which one you suggest uh, working or not working. If you use those uh, mock-up tools, the prototype will work to some extent. You click and then it, it 